The San Diego History Center is seeking community contribution for their new project that celebrates Black History Month. And joining us now to talk more about it and how you can get involved is the History Center's marketing manager, Shelby Gordon. Hi, Shelby. How are you? I'm well, Logan. How are you tonight? Doing well as well. Excellent. That kind of rhymes. Tell me all about the new project that celebrates Black History. Well, we have two exhibitions. We call them companion exhibitions. One is Celebrate San Diego, Black History and Heritage. And what we are doing is really uh, reaching out to the community to have them help us fill in some gaps and tell a more complete story about Black San Diego and the experience of Black San Diegans. So you can uh, look at our virtual timeline on our website. And then if there are things missing, you can submit to have your input inserted in that virtual timeline. So what kind of um, things? Oh, yeah, go right ahead. Also, if you have a local hero, a black hero that you would love to have nominated, you can also on that same web page nominate a local hero and they will be recognized both in our virtual space and in our physical space when we're able to reopen safely to the public. So are you looking for like photos and videos uh, all, to yes. give you an idea of what kind of things you'd like to, to, to receive? We did, this, we did this for COVID. So we did a Share Your Story initiative and we we got artwork, muse uh, music, diaries, oral histories, um, snapshots from uh, residents from Oceanside, Fallbrook to Otai, from the coast to Borrego. So this really gives an opportunity for all San Diegans, no matter your age or where you live, to really share a highlight about an experience. Mm -hmm. um, as a black San Diegan or uh, as part of that black San Diego history. And you can also nominate a hero. And then the other exhibition that we have coming up is the Nathan Harrison, uh, born enslaved, died of San Diego hero exhibition. He was a homesteader in on Palomar Mountain, if you can imagine that, a black man homesteader. So just a lot of things going on, but we are really, really excited about what the community is submitting for us. And we're excited to be able to turn that around so that they can see that on our website. Sounds fascinating. Are there some photos or some stories that come to mind where you thought, boy, isn't that super interesting? Well, for example, today is Rosa Parks' birthday. Mm. And she had a really special relationship with Mesa College and made several trips to the to the college in the early and late 90s. So we are looking for uh, photographs of that particular um, experience. If you were a student or a staff there, we had photos, but they did not necessarily place her at Mesa College. So those are the kinds of things we're looking for. We're looking for the firsts. Right. Were you the first student here? Were you the first to break this barrier? Did you have this accomplishment or this recognition? Um, so those those are the kinds of things that we're looking for. If you've got an oral history or a screenplay or a book um, that you want to share with us, we're happy to have all those things. So what should people do if they want to learn more about this or maybe they have something they can provide to you? Should they just go to the website? Absolutely, SanDiegoHistory.org, and it's right there on our website. Both of them tell us what our timeline's missing, as well as nominate a local hero. Is your center open now or, or not because of COVID? We are not open now. Our doors, our physical doors remain closed, but we're busier than ever, Logan, because we're literally running on uh, consecutive tracks. We're st I was at the center today. They're loading in the exhibition for Nate Harrison. So there's physical things that are still happening at the center while we are going gangbusters. Our virtual discussions are more popular than ever. We're doing online learning, still supporting educators and and families and distance learning. So we're still doing research. We're still taking photo orders. We're still as busy as ever um, in the virtual space. But now we still, in our new normal, 
We're going to have to uh, run these things concurrently, operating a physical uh, location. And we have two of them, one in Balboa Park and one in the Presidio, as well as this dynamic burgeoning um, virtual space. Well, thanks for sharing all the fascinating information. And it sounds like you're really hard at work and providing some uh, great learning experiences for so many people. Uh, Shelby Gordon with the History Center. Thanks, Shelby. Thank you. Happy Black History Month. Yep.